In the midst of ancient Chrysomish tradition comes a new mission. So tonight I officially declare that we will have a special year of vocations. Now four months later, on August 4th, the work begins. People feel they're not being asked to uh, consider a vocation, so our job is to keep asking them. Bishop DiMarzio refers to the job to increase religious vocations as a full court press. His team doesn't include just priests, but sisters, brothers, and lay people. It's not just uh, a work of the priesthood, it's a work of the whole church. Since the announcement in early April, parishioners from around the diocese are doing their part, praying novenas to St. John Vianney. Today is his feast day. Fittingly, he's the patron saint of priests. We need people, so that's why we need to keep praying and asking the Lord to keep inspiring others to take the call. We are part of the mystical body of Christ, the, the church, and God wants our help. Last night, the bishop prayed to the saint as well. Today, people are not so willing to take direction from others. Mm -hmm. So we have to we have to pray to that uh, John Vianney helps us in the formation of our new priests, that they're well formed, that they know what they're getting into, that they know how to deal with the, 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 all of the difficulties that they may face. Bishop DiMarzio will address new seminarians and their families at a special mass and barbecue tonight in celebration of the saint and the start of the year of vocations. We'll have that report on Monday. For Currents, I'm Michelle Powers.